we have an exciting project today. Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Sunny and welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. Here we like thrifting and DIYs and today is a DIY video. Today I have in mind a DIY project. So some time ago I thrifted these, I don't know if it's vintage, vintage actually. Yeah, it has maybe like 20 years. I don't know if that could be vintage or not. Well, like a old pattern, like 20 years ago pattern of vests. And I was super excited to use it, but I don't know why I haven't like I don't know and today I was like I really want to do a DIY video I'm super excited lately to like do more things so I can wear and I also remembered that some time ago also I thrifted this kind of like quilted fabric here I was like this is a perfect match so we're going to be attempting a vest with this fabric, this quilted fabric. And the vest that I'm going to do is here in the pattern is the vest 8H. All these styles, and I'm going to be doing this one that it doesn't have any buttons, it's like open, but I'm going to be incorporating some ties so I can tie it so I would be wearing it either open or with the little ties. And then I have this fabric, which I think it will be enough hopefully i've been like measuring it with the pattern that you guys i already cut the pattern so we have here the front and the back and then it has a separate one for the lining which i'm not sure i'm going to be using or i will just use the same one as the front and the back so i'm still deciding on that and i have to tell you that this pattern is actually a double extra large so i'm not sure if this is going to be too big so i will be twitching it a little bit so it's not super oversized you know i like things oversized but maybe this is like too oversized for me so i will be doing some changes on that also because i'm not sure if i will have enough fabric to do such a big vest and then i have also cut the pocket which i'm not sure i will have fabric enough also but we'll try and work it out and then this fabric it's like as i was telling you it's quilted fabric so the back of the fabric it's actually white and i didn't really like it so i thought doing a lining and i went this morning to the fabric store and of course i had to get one of their linens and i got this super beautiful lilac like lavender kind of color which i think goes very well although you won't see it together this will be like the inside part so when you open it it's like super cute and then for the bias banding i was actually when i got to the store i was thinking like buying the exact same color but they didn't have it in bias banding and i know i can make my own one but it will take me longer and it won't be as perfect as if i buy one so i'm doing a contrasting color i'm going to put it like this so you guys can see it although it's not actually like the best way this will be like the front of the vest vest gilet or waistcoat and then this is the inside and for the bias banding i purchased this kind of like baby pink or like powder pink super super light pink i thought it will actually work very good like this is the lining and this is the front part i don't know i think it looks super cute i also bought the thread let's start cutting as i'm telling you hopefully we will have enough fabric if not i will do a kind of like mini version maybe let's see but i'm super excited for this project oh and i'm actually going to show you some ideas of inspiration that i've got that i've been saving on pinterest since i actually got the pattern of the vest i have been saving a few ideas that i wanted to recreate so you guys can have an idea of what i'm aiming let's just start cutting the fabric and then we'll go on with the sewing machine hey you guys i'm back as i told you i have been cutting all the pieces 
all the pieces already rearranged and I was trying to figure out how I would start sewing actually because I know that professionally when you have like a lining and the upper part they always do like the lining first and then they attach it to the upper part but I don't know how to do that and I think it's going to be faster the way that I thought about it. As you can see here, I have more or less assembled all the pieces of the vest. The front part is four pieces, so it's the left and right lining, the left and right front pieces and then we have the back lining and the back piece. And what I'm going to do, because you guys, I don't have an overlocker here and I don't want to do any zigzag and I don't want the fabric to frame. So what I'm going to do is a French seam. I will have the two back parts facing each other and I will do a stitching all along the part of the shoulder and also all along the side of the vest. And after that, I will try and and put on the pockets and once I have those stitched what I'm going to do is turn around and sew again the same so we will have like a nicer hem let's do this guys and I'll show you the result So now what we do, we have all the seams already done. So now what we're going to do is cut the excess. So we will be cutting these. Wish my scissors work better. I'm going to give this a quick press and I'll continue sewing like this side. Okay, you guys, we have the body of the vest waistcoat whatever you call it I don't know how to call it actually we have it already assembled now I was thinking about how to do the pockets and I'm going to tell you why I wanted to do the pockets now thought that if I attach the pockets now before attaching the front piece with the lining it will look better once it's finished so I don't have all the stitching of the pockets seeing so they will be hidden like in this part here I was thinking like to put them like this a bit more simple so I wanted to spice it up a little bit and I thought about these colors that I did some years ago or yeah some years ago I think this was one of my lockdown projects actually so I did these ruffles I did it from a video tutorial from Janelle from Rosary Apparel I will attach it here in the notes it has this cute little ruffles here and I thought that with the spare fabric that I have from the lining I thought it would be a good idea to try to attempt to do the ruffles and I will have all the ruffles along the pockets along the, um, the two sides and the bottom parts of the pockets I think it can look very good let's see if if it works or not what I'm going to do is just measure the pocket I'll double it so I have like enough like to gather and then what I'm going to do is from that I'm going to do two rows of stitches and then I can gather it so let's start with that oh let's start now let's continue with that so this is the pocket as you can see this side and this side the first thing that I've done is to fold this upper part so it's, it's nicely and now what we're going to do is put the bias banding all around here so what we're going to do is take the bias banding I always leave a bit here
so yesterday night I was working, I will put you here some videos of the pockets. I was doing the pockets and I think they turned out pretty cute, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and I'm going to show you the process. So the first thing that I did was fold up the pocket. So we have like, once we attach it to the rest of the vest, this is going to be, we don't have any frames or whatever. Like the hem is pretty neat. And then what I did was to put the bias banding all along the pocket here so it looks nicer. I was also thinking of like folding it, but I think this way looks more neater. And I decided to attach the ruffle. And what I did to the ruffle was actually sew it already to the bias banding. So as you can see here, the ruffle is attached to the bias banding. I just need to sew the last part here. And I did this because I thought it was going to be easier if I had it already sewn. And then I just sew this part to the part of the vest. Maybe it wasn't like the quickest way to do it, but I think it would look nicer. Also, after I did the ruffle, I gave it a bit of a press, so it was easier to sew. And then I have here the other pocket that I'm in the middle of it. So what I did up to now was to sew the bias banding, the first part, and then this I will be folding it. And then I just have to finish with the other ruffle, that is what I'm going to do now. This fabric that I chose is a linen, it's not very easy to gather, so it takes a bit more time, but it's not a lot that I have to gather actually. So let's continue with that. Once I have the two pockets, I will be placing them in in the vest and we'll see how we go from there. Alright you guys, I finished the two pockets and now what I'm going to do is placing them on the vest. And I'm going to do this now because I, as I was telling you yesterday, I think it was, well, but before in the video, I want to sew them before I actually sew the, li the lining and the front of the vest together. I've changed already my thread to match the bias banding color. This is in a very light, light pink that I'm doing it and I'm going to be placing the two pockets and I'm going to be sewing that so let's continue with it hello you guys I have already done the first sleeve well not sleeve like armpit yeah whatever you call it I don't know I've already done it with the uh, bias banding I did the first one just to try and I'll show you how I do the second one I've just pin the first part you can see here and I will sew this part and then I'll fold it and I'll sew like the outside yeah I'll just show you guys Okay, you guys, I've done the first part of the bias banding. I will pop here the video so you can see because I've done the corners 
in a new way that I've learned because I wasn't sure how to do them for them to look like smart and clean and neat yeah I don't know how many um, synonyms I can give with that <laughs> and I have here I've already sewn the first part and now I've attached it with some needles just to make sure that the finish looks good so I've attached it here and now I'm going to be sewing the last part and I would only have left the color that the color I've left it for the end so I can use it actually with this that I have left this bias banding that I hope I have enough and I'm going to be measuring it from the center and I'll do it up to here and then I'll have some ties so I can tie the vest at the front so I can wear it open or closed I'm going to continue with that hello you guys how are you um every time that i come back i'm saying hello you guys but it's because i'm filming in different times so yeah it's right now 8 30 in the morning and i'm going to finish this vest now before i go into work i have my coffee here my favorite color as you can see it's all matching even with the vest i'm actually just about to finish so i can take it chill i'm super happy with how it's looking out i'm going to show you guys what we have until now this is it i think it's so cute i have to say it's a bit oversized for me but we like that as i was telling you i just have to finish uh, sewing the bias banding here this is what i did yesterday night i pinned it all here and i'm just going to be sewing that yay by the way i had to put the ring light because it's so dark it's going to start to rain actually and it's super windy it's those like winter days horrible yeah so i had to put the ring light it's not nighttime or anything it's only 8 30 in the morning but yeah let's continue i finished sewing the first part of the bias banding and now what i'm doing is just stitching well not stitching actually just putting some needles so the bias banding doesn't move so i can sew the last part and what i'm doing here with the ties as i told you before i left all these spare bias banding because this will be the ties i would use the last part of the bias banding the one that goes around the collar and i will just use the ties for that i don't know if i'm explaining myself but what i will be doing now once i finish putting the needles is to start sewing from here i will continue sewing all the way and i will attach the bias banding and then i will go around all the color and i will finish in the other tie i would not have to put the ties afterwards so i do it all at once i don't know <laughs> i thought it was a good idea oh we'll see now so I'm going to continue to do the pinning. Maybe I could sew it directly, but I don't know why. I feel more like safe <laughs> pinning it all together than going directly with the sewing machine because sometimes like the fabric moves. I find that the more that I put together and everything, it's going to be easier. My grandma, I remember when she sewed, she used to... How do you say ilvanar? She used to, in Spanish it's ilvanar the word. I'm not sure what the word is in English, but she used to stitch everything with a white thread and then that white thread, she will take it out. So she didn't use like this. This she only used when she had to like alter things and just to get like the measurement. These kinds of works, she used to get a needle and a white thread and she used to do it with that. I used to when I was little and my mom had to sew anything, she was like, you can do it with a white thread yeah and that's how it worked i know there are people that still do it like this and i actually think it's better <laughs> looks nicer done but oh, i cannot be bothered today i think like for this project it's pretty easy just to do this i don't know how many times i've pinched myself in this project well i don't know i have like blood there the padded the quilt 
like the padded part I was going to say, the quill part. It's so um, thick and these needles are not like the best ones. We work with what we've got. A few projects for you to share with you guys and I'm very excited. Also because I know that spring is coming and then summer and I get much more creative in those months and yeah I have a few, a few projects and I cannot wait to show you okay the sun is coming now you can see but it's still pretty gray around the sun let's get this beauty to the sewing machine Okay, I finished. I just need to touch. There's a place here where I've missed the bias banding on the inner side. And I'm just going to go over that just to make sure it doesn't frame or anything. Yeah, it's just this, just this little bit here. Should I do it by hand so you cannot see it on the other side? I'm actually going to sew it by hand because this side looks very good and if I stitch it, you will see like double stitch and I don't think like that looks very good. I'm so happy about this project, you guys. I don't know if I said it already. And I even get to hand stitch a little bit. we finished it this is it guys so happy that i got to do this it didn't start raining yet so maybe i'll go outside and try it on so you guys can see it i'm just like this is wonderful love it love 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 okay let me get back to you Are done and I still haven't even finished my coffee you guys I'm so happy with this project I cannot wait to style it and I think that I'm going to be wearing it a lot during what it's left of winter and also coming into spring because the lining it's actually linen so I think here for the spring days I can still wear it and I'm really really happy this is the first vest that I ever do as I told you at the beginning of my video I used a thrifted pattern I cannot be more excited I love that I have used like something I found at the thrift store and to twitch it a little bit just to make it like more my style because I've added the pockets and I've also added the lace here with a bow I think it looks just so cute yeah also i thrifted this padded fabric i have some fabric left that i think i'll do maybe just a little pouch to have in my bag or something like that i don't know i'm not sure yet but i want to like use it all this is the vest hope you have enjoyed the project with me if you want to attempt this project or if you attempt it please let me know i know i cannot share the pattern because it's physical but i think maybe i'll do another version where i get one of my jackets and just do a pattern from there I I don't know i'll try to see a vest is very easy pattern that you can find and then you can twitch it with the details of the pockets and the lace and everything i think it's just like how you combine and just make it like your own yeah hope you have enjoyed this project as much as i've done if you have so please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so i would really 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 appreciate it if you do so and see you guys in the next one more videos coming soon a lot of little projects like this one i'm very excited to be doing some more with you guys because i have so much fun and i also get to wear what i make yeah you guys see you in the next one bye